Hey you guys, so it's FaithL93 and I am back with another video. And as you can tell from the title of this video, I am doing a flat twist out on my natural hair. So first I'm just going to start off by parting my hair the way that I want my hair to fall in my face and stuff. I kind of want it a side part. So this is what I am doing right here. So I am just sectioning my hair off with some clips and some hair ties and I'm going to start and sectioning off my hair and start twisting it down. And I am going to be using my fingers a lot to part my hair. Um, I'm not really using a comb just because I don't want any defined lines or parts in my hair when I do take my hair down. And I am doing the lock method on my hair. My hair is already kind of moisturized and damp. So I'm just um, putting the oil on there. And then I am putting the Eden's Body Works um, pudding souffle on there as well. And that's going to be my cream. So the liquid was my leave-in conditioner, which I probably use the Kinky Curly Not Today. That's really my go-to leave-in conditioner. So now I'm just going to begin flat twisting my hair down to my scalp. And once I get all the way down to my ends, I'm just going to twist my hair around my finger to lock in that twist. And from here on out, I just kind of repeat this whole process throughout my hair, applying my um, oil and my pudding souffle to my hair. And I just twist it down and wrap the end of the twist around my finger. So I'm just going to let you guys watch the video and I'm going to stop talking for a while. So I hope you guys enjoy. Now I'm just going to put my satin bonnet on and let my hair air dry overnight and I'll see you guys in the morning when I wake up. So it's the next day and I'm about to start taking out these twists. First I'm just going to get my hair oil that I used and I'm just going to apply that all around my hair just to prevent flyaways and frizziness and I'm just going to unravel my twists.
so once all the twists are unraveled I'm just going to get my pick and I'm going to start picking at my roots and get it to the desired volume that I want it because it's kind of flat looking right now so I'm just gonna pick it out Now just to kind of get some elongation in the front of my hair, I am going to take a few sections of my hair and bobby pin them down so that my hair will stay down. Um, and this is just a little trick that I learned um, over time and it really helps especially if you have shorter hair right now um, because I did recently cut my hair so it's a lot shorter than what I'm used to. But yeah, that's how I combat the shortness. So once again, thank you guys for watching this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel down below and follow me on social media and I will see you guys in my next one.